This is something that I've been able to do over the last few years, but it's a very tough thing to do, to end the silence on anything we're uh, challenged with, especially with mental illness. It's just something that we don't talk about and really need to uh, talk about in order to, to say that we can work with this and try to find solutions for ourselves. Now, we all like to have mental health, the health side of it, make sure we're positive and ready to get up in the morning and face the day and be really face the day with gusto and really finding out that we have things to do that day. We want to enjoy life. It was all those ups and downs of life, there are emotions that come along, but we want to be able to challenge ourselves to um, make a difference every day. So we can maintain that with good healthy practices. Now with mental illness, it's a more of a challenge because mental, Ill med mental illness is like an, any medical illness. And I like, like to think about it as our physiology, physiology, the science of our bodies, the mental part goes with the health part. So you can't separate out the two. Something that happens to us, which changes, what drastic changes in how we think and feel, and it's common. I want you to understand that it's a common the disorder. What we want to find, what I needed to know 37 years ago, the first thing I needed to know that it was not my fault. And in society at that time, it was really tough to deal with the fact that it was not my fault and something to be ashamed of. And I've been successful. I've been able to go on and, and to reach the goals that I've had and be really contributed to maybe maybe a member of society and had a career that I'm really proud of. The fact of the matter is that mental illness is all around us. Five, one of five in the U.S. will have face some sort of a problem. So we know, and I know, that if I was sitting out there with you, I would be one of those five.